Hi everyone, and welcome to the Novel Novel Strip Show, the show where I talk about books and comics. Um, what I thought I'd do today is another first for the channel. Um, I thought I'd do an unboxing. I've recently ordered three books online, uh, despite complaining in my last video about how much I spend on books. Um, I'm kind of coming to the end of books that I've allowed myself to buy this year. Um, so yeah, this is kind of completing everything off, um, and I thought I'd just yeah um, do an unboxing, unwrap them, and show you guys um, what I got. Never done it before, so we'll give it a try and see how it goes. So this is the first one then. Um, this is if you remember, if you've seen any of my previous videos, um, I looked, I managed to pick up the second book in the Broken Earth trilogy um, for a pound, and then went in search of the first one. That took me ages to find, but eventually I found it. Um, I decided that if I couldn't find the third book on my search, because I was looking for it as I was looking for the first, I should just go ahead and, and just order it. So I found it on eBay, um, it was on World of Books. Um, originally I had the same problem, um, that I um, couldn't find it for less than, than the, the base price, which is eight ninety nine. Um, and if I paid, you know, £1 for the second book, and a pound for sorry one ninety five for the first book. I didn't really want to spend much more than that um, for the last book in the trilogy. Now I'm just going to see if there's a receipt in here to tell me how much this one actually cost. No, it doesn't seem like there is. Um, but yeah, um, this is the book. However, and I'll try and find out in a moment how much I actually ended up spending on it. And wow, this is in really good condition. Um, so I'm very impressed with that. Normally with World of Books, um, they are pre-owned. Well, they are all pre-owned books from what I understand. Um, but often they're kind of pre-loved, pre-read. Um, but yeah, this is in really good condition. Um, it, there's nothing on the spine to suggest that it's ever been opened or read at all. So yeah, I'm actually very, very happy with that. Um, it did cost... Let me just find out how much it cost. Yeah, so it did cost £5.50, um, which is way more, obviously, than I paid for the first two books. However, because I got the uh, two books so cheap, I averaged it out over the series, um, and it worked out um, to between £2 and £3. Pounds, uh, I can't remember the exact figure now, per book. Um, so I was like, well, that's a reasonable amount to spend, and I want to complete the trilogy, so once I finish the Demon Cycle, um, I can just, yeah, go straight on to... Um, another series and i may as well pick this one because it's relatively short each of the books are kind of you know around about this size so much much smaller than the demon cycle which i've been struggling to make my way through that a bit as much as i love it it is such a good series um yeah take a while to get through so i thought i'd go for something shorter um and this seemed like a good option i've heard very good things about it so yeah i'll let you know how i get on um, Okay, so on to the next book now. Um, so I got this um, from eBay. It was um, by World of Books. I get quite a lot from them because I believe, um, as well as having second-hand books um, and being very well-priced, they also donate some money to charity. Um, so, yeah, this is... Da -da -da -da, the Core. So this is the fifth book in the uh, Demon Cycle by Peter V. Brett. And it looks like it's an ex-library book because it's got the uh, um, yeah, um, plastic cover and that on it. Um, it's got a sticker there. Mm, there's a bit of a rip there, it looks like. Um, so I'm guessing that's where maybe the library page was torn out. Um, this was said to be in very good condition with a page ripped out. I don't know if I would class it as good. Um, I certainly don't mind having the plastic on it. Um, and, you know, it looks like if you wanted to, you could take that off fairly easily. Um, which I might do because, yeah, I think it's a beautiful cover um, with the demon prints on, him, on it. Um, but, yeah, that's the core. Okay, so finally then, the big one, the one that I'm most excited about, because I've been looking for this book for ages. Um, this, I also got through eBay, um, the seller was bookwise, um, and as soon as it was dispatched, they uh, got an email from Roddy at Bookwise, he let me know that it had been dispatched, um, and that it would be sent by a sign for, he also very kindly let me know that he would have copies of the next book in the series, this is just a duology, um, so he let me know that they would have News of Nightmares, which is the second part, 
Um, so yeah, that was very kind. I have also already pre-ordered it anyway. Um, but yeah, it's taken me ages to find this cover at a price that I was, you know, happy to pay. You can see the packaging on outside is great. And oh, look at that there. Lovely packed in bubble wrap. Um, it really makes me happy when, like, you get books in bubble wrap like this. Um, just drop something on the floor. Um, but yeah, when you get books in bubble wrap like this, you know, it just really shows that the person selling it to you genuinely cares about the quality and keeping it protected and everything like that. Um, this cost me twenty pounds plus three ninety nine for the postage. So you know, when it's in this good condition, I'm really not you know gonna complain. And you can even see just through the bubble wrap how beautiful a cover it is. It's you know bright gold. I actually ordered a paperback version of it, um, and it was just printed in a kind of quite an ugly um, dark yellowy colour. Um, so yeah, I. Um, made sure that this was the the gold version and this is a hardback that was a paperback obviously um so and yeah even just under the bubble wrap you can tell how beautiful it is and it's in you know pristine condition so i'm just gonna open this here stunning oh, I love it like there's just something about the combination of gold and blue but with the purple on it as well and the, this like kind of turquoise and purpley it's one of my favorite color schemes and like the geometric patterns on the the wings of the moth and everything I just absolutely love it so I'm well well worth waiting to get this cover and you can see it's signed on the inside as well, so that's why it cost um, a little bit more. It would have been fourteen ninety nine new. I don't know if you can see that down here, though. No. Um, but yeah, it would have been fourteen ninety nine new, but it's signed, so I think you know an, an extra um, five pounds for that. I'm quite happy with. Um, it is a shame that it's not the version with the the so the, it is a third printing. Um, I don't know if it says that anywhere. The first printing had blue sprayed edges. Um, yeah, so there's a three there showing. Oh, it's not on camera. There's a three here showing that it's a third printing. Um, the first printing had blue sprayed edges, and it also had a page, um, a title page, which had drawings by Lainey Taylor in it because she's an artist as well as a writer. Um, this isn't that. I couldn't find any of those for you know cheaper than. I think it's about 200, 250 pounds they're going for. So yeah, just um, this copy with the, the white pages and the normal title page, but it's still signed and I'm still very, very happy with it. So yeah, can't wait to read it.